There's a lot going on in Marvel Studios, but I just purchased the CGC 9.8 slab that I'm getting a little curious about. Should people still be collecting this particular comic book right now? Go grab your vibe juice, meet me back here, and let's talk about it. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, C3, and we are back for yet another episode of, you know, Keep It Comics. As always, I am your humble host, C3. Thank you for stopping by checking out the channel. I got some comic books in the mail. I want to share them with you. And then at the end, I want to talk about this particular comic that we may or may not should be collecting, should be collecting right now because of the way uh, the Marvel phases are going right now. All right, so hit the like. Hit the subscribe, and let's jump right on in. I got a few comic books back here that I want to show you guys that came in the mail. And then I got this puppy right here that just came through. And we're going to talk about it a little bit. So here's my trusty blade. You guys know the routine. Cue the music, but keep your clothes on. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Let's pop these rivets. Let's see. Find a good spot right here. Nice, very nice. It's about five o'clock in the morning. I have to be at work shortly, so I couldn't wait to do this video. All right, that's how this one came. Not a lot of protection in there. So I'll do my best at getting this off without hurting anything. I like the fact that they use the painter's tape. But even painter's tape can do some damage if you're not careful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this book was actually just released. I ordered it because I went into the local comic book shops and I could not find it, but this is uh, Venom, issue number 20, and this is the Francesco Mana Ultimate Last Look variant. And that's what it looks like. Yes. Yo, that's a beautiful cover, huh? That is a awesome depiction of Venom. Yeah, I like that. Francesco Manor. Good job. Good job. Venom, issue number 20. And definitely make sure you check it out. Um, for those of you who haven't read it, what you know about Human Symbiote? Human symbiote. Yeah, Eddie Brock is taking on the form of a human symbiote. So it's, it's like he and Venom are, are really one right now. So that one's dope. Happy to have it. Happy to be able to add it to my collection. We got another one here. So let's pop this open. See what we got. Again, cue the music, but keep your clothes on. This means you. <laughs> uh, I'm always happy to share these comics with you guys. I'm excited about mail call. It gives me something to do. All right. So I was just happy. that these packages had came yesterday. And I appreciate you guys for checking out that last video I made, that how-to video, uh, how to safely store your comic books. Thank you for the love that that um, video was getting too. I finally went ahead and put it together. I thought that, uh, that Batman 189 was the perfect comic to show you guys how you can safely store your comics and not have to worry about them getting damaged. Right? 
That's how that one came. It's got the little eBay seal on it. Go. See that there? Flat bag board. Turn it over. Just want to remove these strips of painted tape. I see this person, they knew to put the flaps on it. So you don't have to rip through the plastic. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty. Happy about this one also. I'll show you what we got. Let me just move this out the way. Okay. Couple pieces of tape. Now this is I believe, yes, the Joker Uncovered issue number one, and this is that foil variant. This is the foil variant, Joker Uncovered issue number one. Hold on a second. I actually, let me see. I want to take a look inside this because I didn't open up the one that I received the other day. So... I just want to take a look inside this one. Put a bookmark in there for us. Forging the future one warrior at a time. DC Comics. Dawn of DC. That's supposed to be their next big thing. Dawn of DC. All right, everybody? So pay attention to that. Talk to your local comic shops. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is that Lee Brahimo. That Lee Brahimo. Vermijo variant artwork. Man, this is the foil variant, but this is some fire work, man. Yeah, definitely hot. And yeah, they said that this has a lot of Joker artwork inside of it. So let's take a look. Awesome. Awesome. I, I actually love the many faces of the Joker. Leave a comment in the comment section. What do you think about the many faces of the Joker? Right? We've seen him displayed all types of psychotic and sadistic ways, right? Such an awesome, awesome display of artwork. Yeah, the Joker, uncovered, issue number one. Let's see. Nice. Yeah, like we've seen them so many ways, right? So many different depictions. Nice. I like this one. He's, his, his face is in the shroom, too. It's in the cloud. That's dope. Here's one of my favorites. Yeah. So make sure you guys pick this one up. The Joker Uncovered, issue number one. Awesome book, beautiful. I'm gonna put it back in the in the plastic. I'm gonna have to wipe it down. I got fingerprints all over it. Clean that bag out. Yeah. Drop that back in there. Yeah. 
Nice. Yeah, I think that's a great addition to anybody's collection. Can't go wrong with that. Even if you only get yourself one copy, grab a copy of it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, cue the music, but keep your clothes on. Let's pop this baby open and see what else we got. Yep, so I'm glad you guys stopped by to hang out with me for a hot second. Because I got a slab that I'm going to unbox with you. And we're going to figure out whether or not we should be collecting this particular comic right now. Seeing how there's so much going on in the MCU right now. I'm thinking Kevin Feige may need to like give us a little update on where we're going with these phases because so much is changing. And particularly with this guy, Jonathan Majors, who was slated to play Kane the Conqueror. Where are we with that? And what's our next move? All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I grabbed another issue of Star Wars issue number 35. Yep, definitely check it out. And as a matter of fact, you know what? Two Star Wars books for all my Star Wars fans, my Star Wars junkies. Listen, I know you guys are reading this one. And if you're not, you should be reading this one as well. Right? So, The Empire, Star Wars The Empire, issue number one. This one is dope. So, this one is about a guy whose parents owns this company. But the Empire commandeered the company. And now they put this guy, who's, who's uh, somewhat of a technical genius... They put him to work uh, in the dad's company, and now they all work for the Empire, right? But uh, he goes off on this little adventure, and he acquires some information that he should not have. Uh, and they wind up putting him in prison. Well, that prison is that same prison that, uh, the, what, that, that the character went into when he was in, An in Andor. So check this out, because this has some ties to Andor. Great story, all right? Now, Star Wars, this is dope. So Luke's lifesaver is broke, so he has to get it fixed. So they go to this uh, guy, I think his name is Kuwata, Dr. Kuwata, uh, to fix the to say to fix Luke's saber. Um, but the stone is broken, right? The crystal is broken inside the saber. But when they get there, there there's these red there's these red crystals that need to be cleansed. And the only way to cleanse them is by the force. So that individual has Luke take the crystals and cleanse them in exchange for him fixing the saber. While Luke is inside the force, he encounters some real, real interesting things. And I'll leave it at that. So definitely check this out because this is fire too. All right. So I'm glad to have this in my collection. Uh, glad I got myself another copy. Super, super nice. All right. Happy about that. So... Let's set these over here. Keep them safe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move on to the big box now. I want to thank everybody for stopping by, checking out the channel. If this is your first time, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps us out a lot. We're trying to grow this little channel here. It's good vibes only, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think about my new vibe cup? Dope, right? <laughs> I know. My wife loves me. Yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> Good vibes only. That's all it's about, baby. All right. So let's do it. Yeah. I'm excited about this one. Cue the music. But keep your clothes on. <laughs> uh, I like it. So, we're going to get into this baby right here. We're going to be careful because I can see that this is not that traditional type of box. So, be very careful. Here we go. We got the first side open. 
second side open. There it is. Right there. Right on the side. All right. Got a little bit of bubble wrap. I can always appreciate that. Uh oh. Oh, look what fell out. Can you guys see that? I'll show you where it came from right before I finish the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the big reveal. Okay, so my question to everybody is with everything that has gone on in the MCU and the Marvel Universe, with all the changes and how Kevin Feige has talked about uh, bringing these new movies to the big screen and where our next big threat go is going to come from. Should comic book collectors be collecting this book now? Yes. <laughs> My answer to that is yes, they should, because guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I was able to get my hands on Nova issue number one, a 9.8 CGC slab, $62.74. $62.74. I believe after taxes, it was about $62.74. About $62.74. About close right around there, but definitely didn't pay a lot for this, right? So if you can get your hand on a slap for a little over 60 bucks, especially a Nova, absolutely. And I think like right now where we are in the MCU, uh, where are we? Are, are they talking about doing World, World, World War Hulk? Are they talking about putting us, giving us more Spider-Man? At what point do we see Nova and, and, and when... Should we be collecting this book, right? Do you want to wait until they start talking about Nova and then the price goes sky high through the roof? Or do you want to try to grab this book early, ahead of the game? Get ahead of the curve so you can save yourself a couple of dollars. I mean, the, the object of the game, especially for those of you who are flipping comic books, right? Those of you who try to, you know, you have the hobby of fund itself. The name of the game is buy low, sell high. So I believe... This is a great time to buy this particular comic book um, because you can get it at such a low price that by the time they start talking about you actually seeing Nova, and believe it or not, they may not even mention the Nova Corp, right? So they may not even mention you seeing Nova. He may just pop up in one of the up-and-coming movies. So I believe that this is a perfect opportunity to get your hands on this book. Nova, issue number one, all right? This is a beautiful comic book. Check that out. Yes. I mean, we got a glimpse of the Nova Corps in, uh, in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yep, we got a glimpse. So I know they'll be back. But the, the question is, when? And will you be ready, right? If you don't have this in your collection... You may want to think about grabbing it because it's a good time to get your hands on it. And I see this book adding some value definitely to my collection. This book does add some value to my collection. Beautiful 9.8. There are no swirls in there. Nice clean casing. Excellent. I'm happy with that, ladies and gentlemen definitely happy with that we've seen other heroes like i know i know nova's coming because we've seen other heroes from other from other universes 
the multiverse is open. They're interacting with each other. They're sharing info. They're, they're communicating. They're, uh, they're sharing technology. Heroes engaging other heroes from different universes. Listen, at what point when we're in that, that, that outer world do you think Nova's going to show up? I think he's coming, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to make sure I'm ready. So I got my copy. And I'm super excited about it. 9.8 CGC Universal Grade Nova issue number one. Awesome. That's beautiful. All right. And for those of you that are interested, that's where this slab came from. Shout those guys out. Tell them C3 sent you. All right. Listen, I thank you guys for stopping by and checking out the channel. I really appreciate you. I got to get up and get out of here, get ready for work. Yep, I got a whole day ahead of me. But don't forget, the next video will be your top 10 list. You know what I always say, don't hate, congratulate. Show some love because that don't cost you nothing. Appreciate. But no matter what you do, ladies and gentlemen, keep it comments, man. <laughs> Later, Gators. You know what it is. <laughs> uh, check out the next video.